What a beautiful February 3rd. No, March 3rd. 68 degrees, 2022. Right now it's around. <coughs> Around what time is it? Around one one twenty PM California time. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful sixty-eight degrees man. Oh, look at that. Got the flags. Double flag it up. Yeah, that's it. I was gonna go skateboarding, but things came up. All right, hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another skateboarding knowledge. So, uh, just another rant, you know. <clears throat> I was supposed to go skateboarding, but see my hand still. Man, because these are very hard to heal because, you know, you keep opening up your palm and you're washing your hands all the time, so yeah, so I don't want it to. So I'm giving it a little bit more break, you know, before I break it open again. So, anyway, today's video is about helmet is mask, right? Of course, I'm not gonna put my mask on all the time. So yeah. So that's the video. Helmet is mask. I mean I mean I mean it's not the same like uh what's that word? Tre tretimental? Tretimental? Something like that. Um <laughs> little baby over there. Hi, baby. Uh, you know, the mask, you know, the virus is um, obviously life and death. <laughs> As the helmet is more, uh, it could be life and death if you hit your head hard enough. But I just want to compare the two, you know, in another uh, opinion, you know what I mean? Like my opinion of how the helmet was when I started skateboarding and how the mask is you know forced today Hold on a second. so uh, my my wife's in there she's not feeling well so I gotta keep this ear open make sure when she's calling me to um... that's why I had to stick around here today well today was rent day I had to go get the not had to but you know Go get the rent money order, buy some uh, couple of things, you know, for her. Anyway, um, so the <clears throat> when I started back in 1985, skateboarding was more like a uh, a uh, What do you call it? More like transition, you know, tranny, you know. But now you can't say tranny because somebody get fucking offended. You know what I mean? It's like, so what? So now it's funny that you can't say, I can't say tranny for transition, but everyone these days use like short names for it. All the tricks, you know. Can you do a three six shove? Can you do a tray flip? Can you do a uh, I don't know what else? That's pretty much it. Shove, shove, and tray flip is pretty much like. I'm sure there's more other fucking names, but it's when you see it like written, it's always like kick flip is KF, you know, shit like that. Everything's all short term. But then if I say tranny, it's like, whoa, dude, you're, you're fucking homophobic. You're fucking transphobic. That's why I'm making this video, man. You know? 
like the word be the word. The word's been used for a long time. You know what I mean? Like we just say, hey man, what what tranny is that? Oh, that's a nine foot tranny. So when I say like a nine foot tranny on a six foot, uh, you know, half pipe or quarter pipe, that means the transition goes all the way up to nine feet. But then it's cut off when the ramp's made. It's cut off at six feet. So from six feet to nine feet, usually we'll go like vertical. It's cut off. So then when you come down, it's the quarter pipe or the half pipe will always almost go up to vertical. So the bigger the tranny, right? The mellow, the mellower the ramp. Because let's say a six foot half pipe and a twelve foot foot tranny. Is only it's like half the transition, okay? Tranny transition, tray flip, 360 flip, you know what I mean? K flip, oh, K grind, crooked grind, K grind. As we go, as you know, my brain, because I don't really use like um, short words all the, you know, a lot of times I just use the whole word. Oh, that's a nine foot transition, you know, or oh, that's a 360 kick flip, or. Yeah, that's a you know 180 sh front side shove it right. Like I always use. <clears throat> but anyway, you see how words can be like distorted, or when somebody doesn't like a certain words, they twist it to their own agenda or, or their own pushes, and then they try to make the person saying it like the one that's guilty or the one that's like you know. They play the victim and then you like the the tyrannical, the fucking the enforcer or the gatekeeper, right? Yeah, we can get into that shit too. I hate when, you know, people are saying gatekeeping and all of that, you know? So anyway, we'll get to the helmet one day. <laughs> no, um, anyway, the a lot of transitions, skateboarding back then, a lot of pool skating, you know, I started in 1983, there was a lot of you know, half pipes, full pipes, a uh, little bit of skateboard park. I don't say skate park because, I don't know, when you say skate, it could be roller skate, you know, roller blade, fucking scooters, I mean, all kinds of shit, but that's why I always say skateboard because I don't want people... The reason I said that is because one of my friends back in 1990 in Arizona, his name is uh, Chris... He went in for a job, right? Job interview. And he put one of his hobby was skate, right? He loved to skate. Because he didn't put skateboard. Because he was a... He did like freestyle. You know, he was a, he did... Free, he loved freestyling, pool skating. Pool, ska pool skateboarding and regular skateboarding. Street skateboarding. So he had like different skateboards for different, you know, stuff he does. So after he, he was in the middle of the interview, and then the guy was like, Oh, so do you, uh, do you ice skate? You know? <laughs> okay. If, if I was getting an interview and my boss or the manager, whoever was telling me, it asked me if I, would, if I ice skated, if I'm, I was ice skating, I'd probably say, uh, You know what? <sighs> Thanks for the opportunity. I got a roll, yo. Anyway, it ends up that um, he said, no, he's skateboard. So remember this 1990. Even then, you know, skateboarding wasn't accepted. So as soon as he said skateboarding, he, so in their mind, people that don't skateboard, in their mind, it's like, oh, um, you know, pot smoking, drug addicts, you know, uh, homeless, uh, Runaways, you know, that's that's what it was tied to back then in the 80s Even early 90s So after that they told him, oh, I call you and yeah, he never got the job <laughs> Oh man So yeah, that's the uh, <clears throat> That was the story of that So uh, when you go to do a uh, skip back to the helmet Skateboard contest, whether it's pro, professional, or amateur, it was mandatory that you had to wear a helmet. Mandatory that you have to wear a helmet, and uh, that was that was the rule, you know. So you can't you can't enter any kind of contest without wearing a helmet. And uh, even back then, there was a lot of not a lot. There was um, 
a lot, but not a lot. No, the skateboard park was um, mostly indoors, you know. Outdoors was uh, rare, okay. And uh, a lot of indoor stuff, even like, you know, private stuff like roller rink and stuff like that, that bring in ramps and stuff, they, have, they make you, you know, you have to wear a helmet. Just liability shit. I mean, I don't blame them, but... Anyway... And then, uh, I think around early 2000, when the first Vans uh, skate park, skateboard park opened right down here in Orange, California, um, it was full, full helmets and sometimes they even make you wear pads. And then after like, I think five years, four years or something, 2000 something, I don't know. And then finally they had a thing where if you're 18 years older, Years, years or older, you can sign a thing, a release form, and you don't have to wear a helmet. And uh, otherwise, yeah, if you're under 18, you gotta wear a helmet. And for a while here too, um, I don't know if it's still the same. I don't think it is, but I remember hearing about if you're 18, uh, under 18 years old, even riding a bike on the street, you have to wear a helmet. You know, it's a law. And um, same thing, well, especially motorcycle and scooters, for sure, that's been around for a long time. Probably in the 80s, they made that. And um, it's funny, you see like videos like in the Philippines and Indonesia and all that, in Laos and Thailand, all that. You see these guys, they just phew, helmetless, like two kids on the... <clears throat> Sitting on a gas can on a motorcycle and the wife in the back grabbing to her husband and psh, with a five baskets of chicken in the back inside and psh, heading to the market. No helmets, no nothing, man. <laughs> India, I mean, <laughs> Pakistan, I, mean, I don't know, man. America. So that's what America is, man. Everything is the politicians. You know, it, it, it's a power trip, man. It's about you. Everybody wants to be like uh, China, you know? Want to be uh, Winnie the Pooh, you know? So, for me, I never wore a helmet. Didn't matter what, I was a rebel. Yeah, I was a fucking rebel. So, I had a really, really bad accident, man. It was 1990, around 1996. I was living in uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Um, uh, it's about 40 minutes away from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Back then, um, Love Park was really big, you know? Everybody was like, always going to Love Park. Ricky o Oyola, uh, Sergi Chernowski, Sergi Chernowski, and Matt Reasons. Those are like the top three dogs, man, you know? Like, those are the shit. And then you had like Palassi Park in Washington, D.C. At the same time, there were a couple other, you know, people down there, uh, what is it, uh, something Higgies or something, he had his own nicotine wheels and stuff like that, yeah, it was like nicotine wheels down there in Washington, D.C., Palazzi Park, yeah, I think that's what it is, um, there's a couple other, you know, people down there, but mostly Philadelphia, so the city of Philadelphia, um, they didn't like the the people skateboarding downtown, you know? So they, um, under the FDR, which is the Franklin D. Roosevelt, Theodore, Franklin Theodore Roosevelt Bridge, which is, I think, is the I-95 interstate. It's the I, right? I'm like, yeah, we're getting back to the initial again. Interstate 95. So they built a, it was kind of like downhill. <laughs> it was weird. They had a, they had a ledge, it was like, I don't know if it went downhill, I think it did, I don't know, I know I know it was downhill a little bit, it was slanted, the ledge was slanted, it was pretty long, it was probably like 20 feet long, 30 feet long, it was pretty long, and then they had a pyramid, a small pyramid in the middle, and then they had like a, another pyramid on the side, like a three-sided pyramid, with a, like a curb on top of the end, like, like, uh, 
like it was like this. They had a bank this way, a bank this way, and a bank this way, and then they had a curb right on the top of the cross. That was like 1996, 95, 96. Yeah. And I remember skateboarding there, you know? It was cool. Then after a while, because of Oregon, you know, Portland, Oregon, the Burnside, they kind of like started the movement, okay, of DIY, like the biggest DIY, do it yourself. There we go in this shoes again, you see? I'm telling you, man. All these initials, but until somebody finds that they're offended by that, oh, I don't like you saying die, man. That that sounds close to like dying, man. My, I just lost my, I just lost my grandpa, man, the other day, dying. So you can't see D it's DIY because that, that says die, man. You know what I mean? You can make shit up as you go. So yeah, I had an opportunity to go there in Oregon when they first started. Um, I was driving by then. Uh, 1990, when I went to, uh, no, 1990, 91, when I went up to, uh, to Washington, Seattle, Washington to get my toolbox, what happened was, I was going to, uh, I was going to, um, UTI, see, there we go, another initial, right? I'm telling you, man, everything is all initialized. So, Universal Technical Institute, or you could say, Untrained idiots, whatever you want to call it. Um, so my brother bought me a Snap-on toolbox as a graduation, you know, uh, prize or you know reward or whatever. Graduating, it was like six thousand dollars. A three, <clears throat> three uh, toolbox, three stack toolbox, and shipped it to. Cause my friend that I knew in Arizona, he moved up there, and he said his dad, his stepdad, can get me a job at Boeing. And I'm like, okay, it's because I went to school for mechanic, you know, auto diesel with transmission, automatic transmission. So shipped it up there, end up, you know, you know, of course it failed. Like that's what I said, man. Trust no one but yourself, you know. And uh, yeah. So I had the opportunity to go to Burnside, man, but I it was I was driving like 19 hours straight. I got lost actually in the the redwoods up in the so you could take the 101 here from California and it goes up through the redwoods and you can only go 35 miles per hour. <clears throat> anyway, the whole thing was I could have stopped at Oregon, but everything was just a mess. You know what I mean? I should have stopped there. That was my opportunity to skate you know to ride my skateboard at Burnside and I never did and now I'm on dialysis I can't really travel anywhere except for the weekend I mean I could fly up there and fly back but then you need money you know but anyway the, that that point right there is just like if you have the opportunity just take it man just do it you know what I mean because don't say you're gonna come back because you might not come back that was what 1990 32 years ago I mean <laughs> 32 years ago man I can still remember to day one, you know. <clears throat> so anyway, back to uh, Franklin Theodore Roosevelt Bridge, the 95, Interstate 95. Um, so a lot of people were like bringing things and making things, you know, building more and more and more and more and more. So around 1996, uh, I pick up my friend, because I don't know what happened. He doesn't know how to drive, I don't know why. This guy named Sean. Carboil, I call him carburetor, Sean Carburetor. We went up to uh, Philadelphia, so we went to skate, ride our skateboard at Love Park and this and that, so then we're like, hey, let's go, you know, to the bridge. So we went to the, under the bridge, the Interstate 95, Franklin D. Theodore Roosevelt uh, Bridge, and it was built a bunch. So they had this, um, this wall, it was like, it was a wall going up, probably like, I say like six or eight feet tall, and um, I was pretty good riding transition. You know, it was, pretty, it was like top of my game. You know, like around ninety six, I was twenty five years old, and I went up for um, <laughs> I went up for blunt to fakey on it, and uh, I came down, <laughs> and I came down went like right. 
pop, and it pop, and it uh. So here's a here's an eight foot eight foot towel. Boom! Right on my truck. <laughs> and uh. Yeah, man. Got hung up. Fell straight down to the ground. And. Anyway, I wasn't wearing a helmet, you know? So, cracked my head open. Bah! And I remember just like this. And when I passed out, I don't know, not passed out, but my brain was like, when it hit, my brain, my memory relived the whole, that whole day. So, I remember driving, picking up Sean. We went to Wawa which is like a 7-Eleven in New Jersey. In New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, there's, yeah, there's a Wawa. Just like in the middle, like New Mexico, uh, Arizona, not Arizona, New Mexico and Texas, they have a place called Ossops. <laughs> and yeah, I know. Every place has a 7-Eleven, but different name, like Ossops in the middle. And then we have Wawa up there in the east. Getting some coffee, some, uh, maybe some, um, what is that? Banana nut muffin? Banana nut? Yeah. Banana nut muffin? One of those? Yeah. <clears throat> and eating it, driving up the New Jersey Turnpike, paying all the tolls, driving to the city, skateboarding in Little Park, and then driving to Franklin D. Roosevelt, and then, uh, you know, and then I was just doing my line up until I went up to do a blunt to Fakie. Poof, I woke up. So I was 25 years old. Still, because I was seeing pictures of like people like Wade Spayer, you know, shredding, John Cardiel, you know, shit like that. And then I wear helmets, so I was like, yeah, fuck that. I'm gonna wear my, I'm gonna wear my trucker hat with the bill flipped up, you know, like this. Let me show. <clears throat> Yeah, I was like, yeah, man, fucking Wade Spear, man, you got a fucking trucker helmet, we're gonna suicide Tennessee style, put that shit up like this, trucker hat, you know, yeah, man, you know, suicidal right here, you know, I remember seeing Andy McDonald with his uh, yellow helmet and shit, oh, that fucking guy's a kook, man, he's wearing a helmet, what a fucking... what a kook, you know, and then seeing like Randy Colvin, he's like, yeah, man, when I skate, put it backwards, you know? So it feels like whoosh, aerodynamic, you know, like not slowing me down. This is when I'm in serious mode. Just like remember over the top, oh, the arm wrestling movie? Yeah, over the top, and he's like, yeah. Sylvester Stallone, he's like, yeah, man. So, um, it's like, yeah, I got me a trucker hat. Fuck that, man. I mean, it, my, my, my uh, hat did save me a couple of times when I had it backwards and then it fell. With the bill up like that, it actually stopped me from hitting my head before. So, uh, it was a cool thing, right? The helmet wasn't cool, you know? So that was uh, 25 years old. I could have got really, really seriously um, hurt, man. So I had my hand like this. And then I walked up, you know, the, that three ledge that I showed, described earlier with the trash can. So next thing I know, I was just sitting up there on that curb, because, you know, they had a full-size curb up there. I was just sitting up there like this. And right when I hit my head, I woke up, and it's just blood just dripping down my elbow. Just dripping, you know. So then we, I don't know, you know. Like I said, 25 years old, and then Sean was like, whatever. So after that, I don't think I, I rode my skateboard anymore. I was like, okay, let's, let's just go back home. So as I got on the New Jersey Turnpike, I was heading north. Okay, if you don't know anything about Philadelphia and New Jersey, Atlantic City, it's south. <laughs> okay, We're supposed to be heading south. And we're driving in. Sean, he didn't he say shit, man. We're just driving, driving, driving. And he was like saying... Uh, the Valrezano Bridge, which is the big bridge that crosses into New York City. So New York City is that little island that goes off, you know. You cross this big old 
bridge called Burrazano. It's a two layer top and has a train going on top and then it has a and then between there's a train then on each side there's for the road then under the bridge is another road yeah so back then i think it was only six dollars and the good thing about those bridges, you only pay one way and when you come back you don't pay you know what i mean i think you pay to I don't know if you pay to get in or you pay to get out. I'm not sure, but only, yeah, it was six bucks. But the, the toll is like crazy over there, you know what I mean? They got like the Washington Bridge. If you want to go from the five borough, which is uh, Bronx, Queens, Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Staten Island, yeah, you're going to pay like each time you go to different borough, you're going to pay like, you know, money and shit. So anyway, we're like, hey, wait, we're going the wrong way, man. Yeah, so I could have got like damaged my brain really hard, <clears throat> you know, but it wasn't cool. So, you know, coolness wasn't a thing. So, um, I think, so right after, you know, around there, like I said, <clears throat> after the X game and all that, you notice like the X game and all that, uh, started becoming popular so they started lifting a lot of places started lifting uh not really no not really because i remember around 2000 when the fulton uh skate skateboard park opened um yeah i remember we, a lot of people were getting tickets with no helmets so i think not until 2010 maybe 12 years ago maybe they lifted the helmet a lot of places the cops didn't really care too much about helmets and then around 2010 11 YouTube started uh, being popular right YouTube was the happening place and uh, there was a lot of uh, not a lot but the, the few that made the skateboarding um, videos were getting really popular, I guess it was an in thing, you know? Skateboarding started becoming uh, more uh, mainstream, right? I pretty much quit by then, not quit, but uh, you know, I would roll the skateboard here and there, like maybe once a week or once every two weeks, or most of the time I would just walk, you know? My interest with skateboarding was pretty much gone during that time. So then about 2018, four years ago, um, maybe three, yeah, when, when my truck got totaled, I had a Nissan truck here, it got totaled and I got uh, $1,600 for it, um, I bought a bike, it was a, it was, it's not this bike, it was a, a bike before that one, before this one, it's before this one right there. Yeah, before this one. This is a red line. This is the second one. I actually had this bike. This red line here. I had a Eastern before this one. And, um, yeah, I actually it had a red in here and someone cut my lock and stole my bike. So now I put a camera up there. See the camera? Let's see how I do my camera? Yeah. My brother in law and my sister got me that. Finally, I have a camera. What the hell? So now we can see. I'll try to come in here and take my shit. <clears throat> Where am I going with that? Oh yeah, when I got that bike, the Eastern bike, um, uh, I was at the bike shop and I found this helmet. This is a uh, Bucky Lassic helmet, and uh, it was open box. He was just there, and he's like, I asked him, I said, Hey, can I? Uh, can I can I buy that? And he's like, yeah, man. Cause I paid everything cash. They so gave me a really good deal, a great deal. So I started wearing that helmet, and um, and then I started getting to, well, more maybe like once a week started skateboarding. <laughs> Still wasn't really in into it, you know. Jumped in fully. Uh, so, um. Start wearing this helmet and then uh, just start putting, you know, stickers on it. <clears throat> and then uh, start watching some YouTube videos and 
you know, and Andy Anderson, like, you know, he always wore helmets and he's starting to be really, really, really big. And so then there's this guy named uh, George and he's like starting this helmet gang and shit. It's like, come on, man, you know, it's fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? No, you know, fucking gang. The reason I wear it is because, like, I don't know if it's true, but I, I, I'm pretty sure it's true, t to my knowledge, that uh, Otto Sari, he, uh, he hit his head so many times, man, that, yeah, you know, that, uh, I don't know, like, he, he can't really skate, skateboard, like, you know, hard and stuff, because, like, he got a lot of brain, you know, brain damage or something, I don't know, could be wrong, but I'm sure there's a few old pro skateboarders, that's why you don't see a lot of them skateboard anymore, you know, they do something else, because when you hit your head that many times, man, you know, even with a helmet, look at uh, Troy Aikman, right, right, Troy Aikman, I mean, you know, the Dallas uh, quarterback, right, hit his head so many times, it's like um, Muhammad Ali, you know, he's like this now, you know what I mean? Like, getting hit so many times, punch in the face. Or it could be, uh, what's that thing? I think Michael J. Fox has it. It's like where you, you just constantly shake your head. But anyway, because I'm wearing this helmet by my choice, okay, my choice. Because I want to skateboard, you know, longer. So that's why I wear a helmet. There's no gang, no bullshit, not to be cool, not to be... But when you're younger, you know, you get... You know, you want to be cool, right? I always want to be cool, so... Um, let me see. So it was a cool thing not to wear a helmet. But um, the whole point of that helmet is... A choice, right? You know? So now if you go to the skateboard park and things like that, you can wear them or you don't have to wear them, you know? And it's okay. I wear them because, like I said, I want to skateboard for a long time and I've seen enough uh, skateboard accident to, to let me know, like, you know, that it can happen to any of us, you know? Or, it, or you can go and get away with all your life without Nothing, you know. So I'd rather have a more chance of living, you know, longer and skateboarding longer than not having that chance. And that's why the helmet, to me, it's my choice to wear it or not. But back in the day, like I said, people used to laugh at Andy McDonald and stuff like that. And you used to, you know, oh, what a pussy he's got, you know. Or if you see somebody with full pad and... It's just how life is, man. It doesn't matter what you do or what sports or what. It's always going to be somebody, you know, judging you and calling you out and shit. But see, that's 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 the thing of the freedom of choice, man, you know? Freedom of speech, freedom of everything, you know? You're not going to be... Nobody has to fucking help you with anything, you know what I mean? Or somebody can help you. That's, that's just how life is. <clears throat> I remember... Uh, Kenny Anderson, man, in one of his interviews, he said, because uh, he lives in Las Vegas, he, him and his brother, I remember meeting his brother, I think he was into like motocross racing and stuff like that, but he, they both used to skate, well not Kenny, I mean, he's still pro for the um, chocolate team, but his brother, I think, used to skate with him too. <clears throat> he said he, him and his friends would go to like a backyard ramp, and uh, you know, they go in there and the dude, the owner would say, hey, you have to drop in. He said, you went in, saw like a 10-foot vert ramp or 8-foot mini ramp, whatever, 6-foot, whatever it is. Yeah, if you want to skate, you want to you come in the backyard with us, right? <clears throat> yeah, you have to drop in, that's the rule, or get the fuck out, okay? That's how, that's how I grew up skateboarding, okay? When you go to a spot, when we used to... Um, when I lived in uh, Arizona around 1990, <clears throat> we used to drive down south to Tucson, Arizona. 
we just had a big old skateboard con convention this past Sunday, so. <clears throat> uh, which is what? Five days ago. And, uh, you would have to, um, <clears throat> you'd have to ask, like, the, the person, you know, at the, let's say we went, yeah, we went down there, there was a, a downtown, pretty famous spot, you know, down there, and we'd, like, we see this spot, right, and then, uh, we knew some guy, and he's like, yeah, there's this spot we can go to downtown, and we turned around. I had to go get a Dr. Pepper. I know I shouldn't be drinking it, but whatever. It's got phosphorus, because I'm on dialysis. You got to be on low phosphorus, <clears throat> low sodium, and low potassium. I mean, all the good shit is uh, out the window. <laughs> no, because um, I think Dr. Pepper, Pepsi, and Coke has uh, phosphorus. But I think everything else, like root beer, Sprite, 7-Up, Sunkiss, Fanta, you know, all that shit doesn't have it. So there's only three brands. But that's all I have, so what do you want, you know? Can I say? Yeah. So we'd go downtown and shit, and... <clears throat> and you couldn't just, like, jump on your board, dude. You know what I mean? Like, you go to this spot, somebody, they, these guys, they... They've been skateboarding there forever, so it's like pretty much it's their like little. Think of it as like prison, right? There's like invisible lines and shit where you like white people can't go, or black people can't go, or Mexican people can't go, or fucking Chinamen can't go and shit, right? That's just the rule, man. The unseen rule, right? So you go here and you be like. First of all, you gotta have a local with you so they know the person. Then they go ask the guy, be like, hey, these guys from Phoenix, Arizona, man, they just, they want to they, they can skate the spot, you know? And he's like, yeah, go for it, you know? This is how it is, man. It's called fucking respect. It's called fucking respect, not gatekeeping. Okay, motherfuckers? That doesn't know. Gatekeeping and respect is totally different shit. But see, people that doesn't know this shit, they call it gatekeeping. No, man. These guys, they fucking took care of this place, skateboarding this place all the time. It's their shit, it's their spot, it's their fucking territory. It's a respect that you have to earn, and you have to go ask for permission so you can ride. See, that's, that's the problem, man. People fucking go and like, oh, just jump in and do this shit? No, man. You know, they say, oh, they don't own the city owns it. No, man. That's why skateboarding is skateboarding, man, you know? People that throw this gatekeeping and shit pisses me off. Okay, they don't understand. You gotta go. A lot of the new skateboarders, they don't want to fucking learn about the, the history, okay? They don't want to learn from the older. They don't give a shit. They just like, fuck them. They old school. Won't do all those old tri No, man. Without all those people that paved the way, there's no, the skateboarding wouldn't be here, you know? We've been there where the shit died, you know? I was there when skateboarding died. You saw my, the fucking magazine, how small it was. I was there when they enforced the fucking helmet. You know, helmet rule. <clears throat> so anyway, you know, just riding, and um, yeah, like the helmet nowadays, it's cool. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's so uh, so accepted now, you know? Even the, the public and everything like that, everyone accepts you, you know? You ride a skateboard, it's just like going, having a basketball or football or a baseball bat, you know what I mean? It's just like normal now, but... But the helmet back then, that's what it was. It was enforced. You have to wear it. So now, that's the end of the skateboarding. So you you want to hear about skateboarding? That's it. That's the skateboard. I mean, the uh, helmet. That's that's all I gotta say about the helmet. I'm sure there's more, a little bit more shit about the helmet, but the main point is it's a freedom of choice. Okay, you want to wear a helmet? You can. 
Nobody's gonna make fun of you anymore. Back then, yeah, you get your fucking they laugh at your ass. Nowadays, no. No. Nowadays, a lot of people actually encourage. Like I encourage younger kids to wear a helmet. Because your brain, your skull and everything is not developed yet, man. You know? You can damage it. So I think male doesn't develop their full <clears throat> potential brain until like 25. I think female uh, less, maybe 22. You know? Female like develop faster than male. That's why male are more stubborn, you know? Because we're tough. Uh, we're fucking tough. Yeah. So that's the end of the helmet. So now we're gonna go with the mask. Like I said, man, it's my, you know, it's of my, my way of the, saying stuff. Okay. So, just like back in the day, the helmet was in force. Two years ago, 2020, this was in force. All right. Okay. You know, with government and everything, there's a lot of, a lot of, so this, this part's gonna be more, I guess, if you want to call it political, but for me, it's not political, okay? For me, it's a, it's a freedom of choice, just like, just like the helmet, freedom of choice, you can wear it or you don't need to wear it. Same thing with the mask, okay? It should be a freedom of choice. See the way I see it? I grew up, I was born in Laos, 1971, March 16. And Laos was free back then because of the Vietnam War, right? The Vietnam War was happening. So if you don't know about Laos, if you look on the map, Southeast Asia, which is like Asia, in the south right down here and then there's a ocean and then Indonesia at the bottom and then the Philippines okay that's nothing to do with just like in the, the map of the United States where Florida is hanging down like that <clears throat> Southeast Asia is like that but instead of the United States you have China right China and then so it's Southeast Asia so you got uh, Burma which is uh, they changed the name to Myanmar now it used to be called Burma then you have Vietnam then you have Laos, and then south you have Cambodia, and then to here you have Thailand. <clears throat> so Thailand is only free country, okay, not owned by the communists. So all those uh, Burma, Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia, all communist country. Because of the, the China supporting, see Laos used to be owned by, uh, ruled by the French people. Because I remember we had to learn French in school, you know. Ah, they say they, you know, I mean shit. Uh, what is it? Bonjour, bonjour, makes museo, blah blah blah, you know. Como I mean, shit like that, yeah. So, because of the Vietnam War, people know about Lao, Burma, and Cambodia. So, when the communists came in, the Red China supported Lao. They came in, not supported, they just came and took it. Just like right, right now, as of March 3rd, 2022, right now how Putin is taking over Ukraine. Yeah, pretty much like that. But I mean, the Lao part is so much easier because it's only 3 million population, right? Which is like about... Maybe south of here is Orange County. It's three million people. I'm in LA County right now. Oh, there you go, another initial. Los Angeles County. Not Louisiana, okay? Los Angeles. Uh, yeah, so they just came and said, hey, you know what? <coughs> we got some, a uh, couple of uh, AKs right here that the red china gave us and a couple of red bandanas put that bad boy on just march in and be like hey we want your country okay 
So I don't know how it went because I was so young. Uh, I was probably... Uh, probably like... Six. Five or six years old. I think I remember I just came home from uh, school one day and my mom was crying. And turns out that my sister died and my uh, two of my nephews and one of my niece, they died. So what happened, okay, I, if you don't know, I'm the 12th kid in my family. I, have, I had seven sisters and four brothers. So the two middle brothers and my third sister and my fourth sister, they, because they didn't have paper, you know, to leave. <clears throat> See, when the communists come in, get, if you don't know what a communist is, I'm trying to tell you, give you an example. It's like you live in a house, right? And you look outside, like right here. Okay. Look outside. And you see like, <clears throat> I don't know, like six guys walking towards that out, the walking towards that um driveway, <clears throat> uh, with guns and weapons and bats and sticks and fucking knives and shit, like coming towards your house. <clears throat> you know they're coming towards your house. And you have a back door, okay? You know they're coming for you. Are you going to stay in your house? <laughs> no. So that's what the common is, is. When they came in, everyone knew about it. Boom. So <clears throat> they shot the boat down. My two brothers, they were like in their teens, and then my other sister, she's the one that had the all the kids all drown, and one of my sister drowned. Yeah, they died. When I went across to Thailand, remember Thailand's a free country. My brother got his ear kicked in because they thought they were spies. Kicked in so hard that he like one of his ears deaf now. They broke his eardrum, and uh, then they separate the women and the men. And uh, for for me. My uh, my dad was working for the American Embassy, so he had papers. So it was only four of us. The the least, the last four kids went with him. It was um. So then it turns out <clears throat> the four kids was his kid. I didn't even know my mom. That was my mom's second husband until like four years ago. I didn't even know that was like my mom had another. <laughs> I don't know, anyway, so the other eight kids were from another dad, well, I don't know. I mean, I consider them as my sisters, now, you know, or as my step, no, I just tell them sisters or brothers, you know, whatever. So, hello, where are you going with this? Where's the mask coming in? When the mask coming in? Patient, grasshopper. Catch pepper for my hand. No pepper. Trying to get your background, man. In order to appreciate something, <clears throat> just like skateboarding, you have to know the history and the background of certain things. Otherwise, it doesn't mean shit. You know? If you care for something, you, you, even, you care for even more when you know the background, you know the struggles of people that made it possible for for you to accept no not for you to accept but for you to <clears throat> be able to gain that whatever you're doing for free you know because there's a lot of sacrifices in order to, to be free to have that freedom <clears throat> and so that is commonness okay so it that was 1976, 70, yeah, 76, 1977, okay? So a long, a long, long time ago, I remember when the music made me smile. So anyway, 
Um, so now, fast forward to 2022, a 20. See, in order for the government to get the people to back them, they got to, uh, what do you call it? Spike? Not spike. Uh, show fear, you know? Like, make them scared, you know? So they could be like, oh man, we need the government to protect us, you know? So they, uh, <clears throat> they created this, um, see, for a while, this is my opinion, okay? It's not known facts or nothing, but just from my... I'm 50 years old, and just from my... You know, going through the communists and living through the refugee camps and all that. This is what I come up with. So, if you remember the quote from Mao, the, the, the president of China before Winnie the, the, Winnie the Pooh there, that guy Mao, I think that's his name. He had a quote that says, because they had a famine, right? Not enough food. So they said, he says, kill half the people. Okay? Kill half the people. Like half the population. So the other half of the population can survive. Kind of like, you know, uh, there's a movie on Showtime called Yellow... Yellow... Um, yellow jacket with uh, what's her name, Lewis, Juliet Lewis, where the the bunch of girls from high school airplane crash. You know, just like a lot, that's what happened. A lot of plane crash in the mountain, and a couple people die, or half the people die, and then they eat. You know, they got nothing to eat, so they eat the people, right? It's like that. So you kill half the people. <clears throat> the weak ones so the other strong one can have enough food to eat and then the country can go forward you know what's that called collateral damage so I heard that <clears throat> it's my opinion you know what I mean that China has been doing these uh, not China but you know <clears throat> I shouldn't say China I just said say Pooh and his gang Pooh and his gang uh, developed this uh, virus where they kill like the 60 years old and older. You know? Like the older people. Because the older people can't fight, right? You know what I mean? Old people can't fight because they're too old. But they're taking up resources, you know what I mean? The food, the water, the air, you know, whatever. So I think that's, from there, I think that's where they came up with the coronavirus, you know? They developed that from there, killing the old people. That's why you, you notice, in 2020, most people that died are like old people, right? Think about it. Most of them that died was old people. I think it's the same virus, you know? But see, if you didn't live in the communists, if I'm sitting here talking like this, I could, I can kill, I, they could, they can go and shoot me. I could die from talking about, uh, about the government. Yeah. Yeah, man. <clears throat> so you see all these old people sitting around cafes and stuff talking, they're like, because they, they don't know who's like, you know what I mean? Who's, you could trust, right? It's a real deal, man. See, here in America, freedom of speech. Say whatever the fuck you want. You could even make fun of Biden. Let's go Brandon, you know? Let's go, Brandon. You know, nothing happens. You say that to the poo, <clears throat> guarantee you, not. They don't cut your head off no more. They just shoot you. Firing squad, blindfold, tie behind your back. So that's what happened. So then, remember, uh, remember the 9-11? 2001, September 2001. No, 2011, right? No, yeah, 2000. Why did it say 
It's a 2000, it wasn't 2011, was it? Must be, right? Because it's 9-11. Yeah, 2000, I don't know, fucking I remember. I remember uh, I was sleeping in Anaheim. I rented the room with one of my friends and I was laying there and I looked up because we have the TV on and I looked up and I just see this airplane going through the building. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Then I saw another one, like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. So that didn't, uh, that only stopped New York City, right? It didn't stop the whole, the whole United States. So they're like, how do we stop the world? <clears throat> how can we control the whole world, you know? Well, <clears throat> we stop the whole world by unleashing Resident Evil 9 coming. 2024. Yeah, think about it. Remember the game Resident Evil? The guy was in the lab, like, he was bringing this virus and fucking dropping by turning to zombies and shit. Yeah, that's what happened. So they, they advanced that, uh, the old people virus and then this, uh, just unleashed it. And how you unleash it? You know, people love to travel. Boom, 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 boom. And then we have this. So, the virus came out and not even like six months they had the vaccine. See, I don't believe in vaccine, man. But then again, it's a choice, right? It's a choice. My friend Damien in Texas, back in like early 2000, he, he, uh, he got a job at Eckert's, remember? Remember uh, every store has a 7-Eleven? Uh, every store has a uh, pharmacy, you know, here we have Walgreens and CVS. In Texas, they have an Eckert's. And another place they have Rite Aid, you know. So he had a job there, and they told him he had to take these flu shots and everything. Right? So he took it. In order to have him to have a job. And now, when spring comes, he starts sneezing. He never, he was never allergic to anything. When spring, like right now, all these leaves are blowing right there. See all the leaves blowing? Now, he starts sneezing and shit because he took, he had to take that shot in order to work at the Eckerts. Okay? Everyone has opinions. That's what's great about freedom of choice, man. You could fully disagree with me in this video. You can fully spam the comments, say, fuck you. You're fucking killing people. You don't know shit. That's fine. That's your opin opinion. I'm making a video of my opinion. That's what's awesome about fucking freedom of choice, freedom of speech, freedom of everything. Okay? Is to have two totally night and dark fucking positive negative shit come together. See that's another see that's another thing I want to talk about is the moderator. When you watch like live streaming and shit. And you got these people are like, oh yeah, don't forget to Thumbs up my moderator, man. You know, the fucking moderator. Good, good job. No, man. That is fucking bullshit. You're moderating the fucking negative comments. You know better than the fucking trolls. That's trolling. Let's go, Brandon. Yes, I agree. Okay, you know fucking better than no trolls. No memes, no fucking whatever. Okay? You got a moderator that's deleting all the negative comments, right? What's that tell you? Tell about yourself, you know what I mean? Like people always say, freedom, 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 but then when it, it, it's against them, then it's like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, what's his name? Neil Young, remember that motherfucker, that old man? Trying to censor uh, Joe Rogan from Spotify. 
You are, oh, yeah, man. Fucking Joe Logan was saying niggers and shit, man. He's fucking racist. Because they took the shit out of the context. He was like, he was quoting somebody about some quote that just says, nigga, you know? Oh, nigga. Oh, he's a fucking racist. Okay? You know, come black people can call themselves niggas. I mean, hey, what's up, my nigga? You know what I mean? Because it doesn't mean that. Okay? You could be a white person, a Mexican, a fucking Chinaman, whatever, man. You could be a nigger being a fucking Chinaman be a nigger, you know? To me, a nigger is like uh, someone that's just like shady, you know, burning like fucking scammers and ripping people off, you know? That's what, that's what that word is. It doesn't mean racist or black and shit, you know? What about dude? Hey, dude. So what, that's a white thing? Dude, what's up, dude? You know, that's a surfer, surfer lingo, right? What's up, dude? Shaka bra, you know? Yeah, yeah. you know? <clears throat> I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> Just going all over the place. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, back to moderator. Yeah, so Neil Young saying, saying yeah, if you don't cancel uh, <clears throat> Joe Rogan, I'm taking my, uh, my songs, my fucking song that nobody listens to or buy off Spotify. Everyone's like, all right. Don't let the door hit you in your ass on your way out. <laughs> you know? And he did. They took his fucking shit out. And guess what one of his songs is? One of Neil Young's songs. Guess, guess, guess what the, na- the name of the song is, man. Rockin' in the free world. Rockin'. Rockin' skateboarding. Whatever you want to call it. Surfing. Talking. Whatever. On the free world, right? What's a free world? Free world? Free. Freedom of speech. Freedom of choice. Freedom of everything, right? But then yet he tried to censor Joe Rogan. Yeah. Talk about hypocrite, man. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. If you have a moderator. Oh, look at the flag. Flag is so happy. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. That's freedom right there. See, I got that, uh, yeah. Canadian flag. That's freedom. So, uh, anyway. So they unleash the virus, and then, uh, yeah. And then they're like, oh! Everyone has to stay home because the virus is so dangerous! But then they got these truckers, right? Out there, delivering shit, right? Oh man! Everybody has to stay home because it's so dangerous! But hey, I want my fucking, uh, Filet mignon, steak and shit, you know, my lobster, I gotta have that shit for uh, tonight's um, state, of, state of Union dinner, you know. I just said that because two days ago was State of Union on Tuesday. Fucking let's go Brandon. And uh, so no one goes out there and interviewed the truckers, you know. The, the, the people delivering this shit. I just heard the other day, uh, this one guy was saying, man, when we were um, doing, delivering all this shit, you know, staying in the truck up to like three, six months, living in the truck. Uh, remember, no, no stores open, no restaurant, no nothing, man. So the only thing they had was the, the gas station and their truck and their refrigerators and shit. You know, people complain about, oh, man, fucking got to eat this cold-ass bologna sandwich. That's what they were eating, man. Cold bologna sandwich, cold tuna sandwich, whatever they had leftovers. And yet, that's why they're fucking heroes, man. These guys right here, the original, the original heroes, man. The fucking truckers from Canada. These guys right here, they're the fucking beast. 
So just think about it. I know, I know it might, might take a little bit of a, you know, brain memory going back two years ago, 2020. Remember when like the fucking toilet paper was gone? Hand sanitizer, Clorox bleach, they went up like fucking five times the price, right? Even when I went there, I'm like, what the fuck, man? I need to wipe my ass. You ain't got no toilet paper, okay? And then after a week, two weeks, you know, after they limited, people can only buy so much, stock started coming back, 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 back. A month later, two months later, I noticed that toilet papers were there, you know, all that shit, bag of right, you know? Guess who brought them there? Truckers. Without these guys, Living in the truck, delivering the shit, they wouldn't happen. But nobody, uh, that's how it is, man. When you, when, when you, when you carry the torch, when you keep in the underground lit, that's why I would say keep an underground lit. When you're in the catacombs, keep an underground lit, there's no rewards, there's no cheering, there's no crowd, there's nothing. You're in the underground with a torch, keeping that light on, man, so other people can pass through. No, man. Those are the real heroes. Those ones never get celebrated. I know I'm jumping shit around, but if you didn't see the Biden State of Union video, you got three of the fucking worst people up there. Kamala Harris and then fucking Pelosi and fucking Let's Go Brandon. You see the fucking... Let's go, Brandon's 80 years old, man. Fucking Pelosi behind him is 82 years old. And then Kamala, she got it because diversity, not merit, diversity. Gotta get that. That's why I look at the fucking shit's all fucked up. And one part, she was like this. Pelosi was like this. And somebody in, in Fox News was saying she's like the fly ready to feast on some fucking feces. <laughs> Cause one one part she's like this. If you watch the video, it's, it's so funny. She's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she got up one time. <laughs> Cause what happened is like after he ends his speech every time, it went. And I think somebody says it was ninety three claps. Yeah. Nah, man. All right, I'm gonna get to another, the same thing. But like I see, I'm jumping around. Not it's not scripted. So. Think about this. I was just thinking about it, you know, because I walk around a lot, going to dialysis and stuff like that. I have a lot of time. Okay, picture you're married. Okay, I'm going to make the bad guy the, the, the male because the male is always the bad guy. That's just how it is. Male always the bad guy. So let's say uh, you're married to this girl and you have one kid, right? She's like 12 years old. No, 14 years old. No, 13. 13, because 13 is my lucky number. 13 years old. And, and, you, and you're mad at your wife, right? You're mad at your wife. So your, your daughter, 13 years old, good kid, good kid. Never done anything wrong, nothing. Got good, you know. Not like excellent grade, but you know, good grades and that's what she's supposed to do. All of a sudden, one day you're like, you're grounded. She says, for what? you just grounded for a week. Okay. So then a week later, you grounded her because you're mad at her mom, right? Then a week later, you're like, okay. Aren't you going to thank me for not ground, uh, releasing you from your, you know, your punishment? Like, low, where you going with that? Okay. So now you is, let's go Brandon. And your wife is Donald Trump. And your daughter is America. Okay? Yeah. So let's go Brandon. Don't like Donald Trump. So everything Donald Trump did, he went 100%. Right? And then your daughter is America. So for two years, right, two years, lockdown, all this shit, defund the cops, 
mandate the you gotta get your shot. One shot is not enough. Take two shots. Two shots is not enough. Take the first booster. Booster is not enough. Take the second booster. Yeah. So it goes on and on and on. So you're experimenting. So now, just last Tuesday, oh, guess what? <laughs> the mandates lift. But your kids still have to wear your mask. And when you go on airplane, you still have to wear the mask. And then somebody asked the. So yeah, so the family thing and that, that's, okay, that's it. So somebody asked one of those, you know, these are supposed to be the best of the best. What's the difference you have to, you wear a mask in your car or in your house or outside and on the airplane? Okay, now you don't have to wear nothing, but you have to wear it on the airplane, why? So someone said, I think something would do with the frequency, the speed of the airplane. You see, it, you know, most people have pretty good common sense. You know what I mean? It's like, you don't have to wear a mask anywhere else. Why do you have to wear it inside? Or why do you have to wear it on an airplane? And then remember when everything kind of opened a year ago, all these, the elite, they call them the elitists because they have, you know, people with a lot of money are like elitists, do whatever they want. They're inside chomping, restaurant, eating, no, ma no mask, nothing, hugging, kissing, blah, blah. But the workers, the waiters, the cooks, got to wear a mask. But the people there that they're serving to don't have to wear a mask. Like all this shit is bullshit. Like I said, it's, it's the virus that's supposed to kill old people, get rid of old people. Because, you know, China is all about power, right? about power, okay? So they, all the weak people, they kill them, and they only want the strong people to fight for the country. You see? Just ask yourself, man. Even if you're, you, you're with this or whatever, man. You don't have to wear a mask anywhere, but you have to wear it on an airplane. You can go to the Super Bowl, don't have to wear it. If you go in a restaurant and eat, you have to wear it. But you have to wear it in an airplane. You can't say it because you're sitting too close. Because everyone's sitting up right, you know what I mean? It's all power, man. Once people get this God-like power because of the money, okay? They become this other, like, the outer, outer beast, you know, like, oh, like in the game. Become so powerful, it's like, you know, nothing can touch you. And that's what it is, when you get this power. I mean, there's so much shit going on, man, like, since Let's Go Brandon's been, like, I never seen anything like this ever, man. Shit don't make sense. Right now... America has the most fucking shit. America is the most riches of everything. Most freedom, most riches, most everything. But yet, right now, the inflation is fucking up the roof. In that other video, I took a uh, t-shirt Ashley gave me, a Speed Freak t-shirt, the hand. It was $23.99 uh, two, month, two months ago, right? In Christmas. And I went last month, which is two months before that, which is February, to Tilly's, and the shirt was $33.99. It went up $10 in two months. Okay? Right now, when Donald Trump, 2018, when he was a president, one barrel, 55 gallon barrel of oil, crude oil, is $46. Just yesterday, I was watching the news, is $113 from Russia. Who America is supposed to be enemy with, but buying the oil from your enemy. See, none of this makes sense. If you if you hate someone, but you still rely on them to give you shit. What if Russia say, you know what? Fuck you, you know. We ain't but you ain't buying shit. But we have all that shit here. 
and fucking let's go Brandon. Shut them all down. No. Okay, let's say I have a big <clears throat> plot here. You see all that grass? It's like I could grow all these cucumbers, potatoes, cilantro, you know, all that shit. Green onions, all that, right? See, now I just made him. No, don't do that. You know that guy that you hate? We're gonna go to his house and buy all the fruits and vegetables from him. And he has no no uh, price capped, okay? That means you can make the price whatever he wants. It depends on the days, right? So right now, it's, yesterday it was $113, okay? It could go up to $200, it could go up to $500. But, or you could just dig up the, the dirt there, all that dirt, all that grass. And grow your own shit. Okay? Then you don't have to depend on no one. That's that's what I mean. Like how, that's the problem with giving one person that much power, man. And when you're 80 years old and you have dementia and you have like you know what I mean? When you get that old, your brain is you know what I mean? It's not gonna be as sharp. Just someone the other day was saying that uh, they went to a wood, I don't know what store, they didn't mention the store, but check this out, this is crazy. You ever go to a restaurant, eat at a restaurant, especially like an Asian restaurant, and you look at like a, uh, I don't know, they have like a seafood menu, like a seafood plate, something like that. Um, just talking in general, okay, I'm not talking about the people living next to the, the ocean, okay or the river or whatever and it says <clears throat> and you look at the price it says depending on the catch of the day right that means whatever <clears throat> the price the price of the fish is that day <clears throat> when they bring it that's what the price is gonna be that day when you order that dish so if you live by like in Florida or here in California by the beach and stuff like that they have people that go out like six in the morning or four in the morning they go out and catch and then they bring the fish or lobster you know the seafood to the restaurant sell it to them it depends what they catch and then the the price is like that that's that's what they mean by catch of the day that's what the price is so this one guy was saying he went to buy because he's a he's construction right he works in construction and he never seen this they ripped all the the lumber price off the shelf. So the lumber, whatever you buy the lumber that day is up to whatever they, they the the price is at the stock market. Yeah, that's when you know when it's bad. When you go buy a two by four, I mean, see all that wood I got. That's all free. Right? On my ramps. Yeah. I got that, just those are all wood from junk wood. So if you own a ramp company or construction, whatever, no man. Nah, that's it. Everything is hit, man. That's crazy, I never seen that. The price of the lumber is whatever the stock market is, man. Same thing with the... That's why you see, if you drive by the gas station, those guys are constantly changing the price on those things, man. Like, two, three, sometimes three times a day on the, the gas, of the, the price of the gas, you know? Shit, man. So anyway, what else? Yeah, so, pretty much, Ukraine is pretty much done, man. You know? So I was a refugee here in 1980. I came to the United States in March 1980 to New York City in the Bronx. And here in 2022, you got refugees going to Poland, from Ukraine, going to uh, Romania. You know? 
and uh, I mean, you know, it's awesome there's people still standing up to shit like that. Like the president and his wife in uh, Ukraine is staying and they you know, rallying up the, the people to fight, but like I said, man, United States, we, they're buying, they're giving war money to Russia, so Russia is never going to run out of war money, so they're going to keep having more and more advanced weapons and drones and whatever they need, you know. And, uh, yeah, it's a losing battle, but I don't know, man. So anyway, the mask. So right now, uh, before we get to the end of the video, not for a while, <laughs> uh, I got the Canadian flag. To me, the Canada flag right here. Canada flag. I wear this all the time now. It means freedom. You know? The truckers were out there, okay, fighting for the freedom in Canada. Minus 30 degrees, wind chill, minus 60, they're still out there, uh, sleeping in the cab. Unfortunately, they got forcefully taken out by force, but they made a really, really, really big impact around the world. To let everyone wake up, you know, that all that all that mask mandate, just like the helmet, it's all power trip, man. So right now <clears throat> they have the People's Convoy, which is here in America. Uh, they're like around. They were in, in Indiana yesterday, so. They should get it, be getting close. They should be there in about two days. By Saturday, they should be Washington, D.C. See, here's another thing, because uh, in Ottawa, Canada, the truckers, like, surprised them, right? They all drove in there unannounced and blocked up the whole town, right? To make their statement, which they did. So here, the People's Convoy, they even told them, hey, we're going to start here in Barstow, California. That was uh, last Wednesday. And we're going to go to Washington, D.C. And let those motherfucking politicians know that we're not going to stand for this lockdown shit no more because it's bullshit. It's all power trip. So as soon as the, they heard it, they put a five-layer gate in Washington, D.C. Five layers, man. They did a state of mercy and got 700 uh, National Guards there. Unarmed, they said. They don't want to be like, you know, Canada. So, but remember, for over two years, the borders in the USA has been open. So they are over like 5 million illegals. So I don't mind people, you know, like illegals, like, uh, you know, like people like myself, right? Like refugees, right? That really want to come here to make, you know, to do things legitimately. But then there's half of that that's coming here to do bad things. You know, like gang members, uh, drug drug trafficking, people trafficking, sex trafficking, you know, all that shit is coming through here, right? But yet, they got a five, they, they don't want to finish the border, but they put five layers in Washington, D.C., right? To keep the, the peaceful protester convoy, people's convoy, out of Washington DC okay yeah but the border is wide open and um, and then all of a sudden let's go Brandon is like hey I'm only getting in the 30s 30% 30 or so uh, approval 
to get reelected. Hey, let's get the police back to fighting crimes. See here in California, you can steal up to nine hundred and forty-nine dollars. Okay, and nothing can happen to you. Only nine hundred fifty dollars or more, then they might give you like a misdemeanor or something, something like the lowest fucking shit. So that's why all these stores like Walgreens, CVS, all these, they're closing, man. People are going in there and just pack, putting shit in their backpack and just walking out. Nothing happens. All the stores, you see everything in plexiglass and shit now and, and boxes and locks and every time. Like today I went to get some uh, medicine. Okay, I went to get medicine and it's like sitting there beeping the thing to go. And it's like, okay. Please, uh, blah, 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 I need uh, help on, uh, you know, pharmacy aisle nine or whatever, right? So, uh, yeah. So then now he's like, yeah, let's fund the police and fight crime. Let's uh, close up the borders after we left it open for two years. Yeah, you know. How are you going to do it? Don't know. When are you going to do it? Don't know. You see? None of that shit makes sense, man. So the, the... The Canada truckers, man. They led the way. Let me turn this shit off because that motherfucker over there. Alright. Different outfit now because it's getting cold, man. So yeah. So... A lot of this stuff don't make sense, man, you know? So, like I said... So now they thought, like, the, the United States is going to be doing the same shit as Canada, right? So they prevented all this stuff. What happened was this thing called January 6th. Some bullshit thing, like, people... I don't know, charge into Washington, D.C. or some, some shit. So they think... So they're comparing this uh, peaceful convoy here. All these guys want to do is just, you know, tell them, hey man, we need, we need, you know, shit's not going, shit's not going good, you know? So we just want to talk to whoever and let them know. But instead they put this <laughs> preventing thing and then saying that, already accusing you of doing something you haven't done, you know? So the whole thing of People's Convoy is, it's, you ever heard the thing says, uh, it's not the destination, but the journey? That's what this People's Convoy is, okay? So they started out with um, only like 12 trucks from here, Barstow, right? California, which is all the way in the west coast. Gonna go 3,000 miles all the way to the east, you know, to the east. So it's the journey, you know, as, as they go, Spreading the words and you know picking up more more and more more and more people, you know And spreading out and spreading the words, you know, that's all it is so um, So yeah, so so people think it's the the destination is to cause havoc and chaos and all that shit No, that's not that's not the whole point of the people's conduct to spread the word Get everyone, you know, to come together and to understand, you know, S to to lead. What is it? To ah, uh, hold on. Yeah, so to weed out, you know, the the false, the false from from the truth, you know. And a lot of time, the truth is always what is the truth, right? So yeah, now um, it, it was kind of a uh, people were like laughing. Ah, there's not even that many truckers. Blah 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 blah. blah. It's like, no man, it's trucks, trucks because it's a uh, eye candy, right? Big trucks, you know, like um, they stand out, right? And then you got uh, motorhomes, you have pickup trucks, you have cars, you have motorcycles, whatever, you know, skateboards. I don't know if I was there, yeah, I'd ride my skateboard there. 
You know, it reminds you. It's funny because I remember seeing the first Transformer like around 1984. My friend Joe Buck, though, he always had like, you know, those toys are pretty expensive. But, you know, I couldn't afford it, so he would always have it. And guess who the leader of the the robot is, man? Optimus Prime. What is he? A fucking diesel truck. That was 1984, right? I remember. And now, 2022, Optimus Prime is like the leader. Yeah, man. That's it's kind of crazy if you think about it, man. You know, Optimus Prime fighting the, um, you know, like fighting the uh, was it? I I forgot what the bad robot name is. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, so it's the destination now that I think now there's like over 60 trucks or something, you know? Yeah, man, it's cool. It's gonna be cool. Um, so they're just gonna go drive around like there's a freeway called a belt beltway parkway. The belt parkway or something, they're just gonna go in the, you know, like in a loop. Now that we're gonna go inside the uh the um you know. So now <clears throat> the mandate is uh, I don't know what the deal is I don't know if it's lifted or unlifted see a lot of people always thought it was about the vaccine you know it's not about the vaccine man it's about the freedom getting our freedom back you know that's it just like the helmet you have a choice to wear it, and you don't have to wear it <clears throat> but even the mandate is uh, lifted. If I go to a store and stuff like that, I'm still going to wear it because uh, my wife. She told me, you know, to wear it because her immune system is low, right? It's like right now, like I told you, she's kind of, she's not feeling good. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm wearing it because, because she wants me to wear it. That's why I wear it. But if I'm outside like this, I'm not going to wear it. But if I'm around people, yeah, I'll wear it, you know what I mean? Just for her own, uh, you know, safetiness. Like, and that's how she feels. And, you know, I'm gonna respect her for that, and then I'm, I'm gonna wear it. But the whole thing is about, you know, freedom of choice. You wanna wear it, you don't wanna wear it. So yeah, I think that's hopefully, I mean, there's probably more stuff, but that's pretty much all the stuff that's you know on my mind right now. I mean, of course, like I said, man, uh, it's kind of dumb for the president to be talking all this nonsense and then supporting, giving Russia money to support his war to overcome Ukraine, but at the same time calling him evil, tyrannical, and it's just fucking hypocritical, man. It's just fucking bullshit. See, like me, when I don't like somebody, I won't even fucking shit on them. They're on fire. Well, I can't say piss because I'm on dialysis and I can't pee because I have no... My kidney doesn't work, so I can't pee on them. So I just won't shit on them. That's how I am. That's how... That's, that's, that's normal people, you know? You don't like somebody, you don't... Just don't talk to them, don't answer their phone. Just like the trolls, you know? The troll. Because one time, some one guy was telling me, like, I fucked up uh, my Thrasher shirt because I spray painted it and shit. I said, wait, that's just, that's just how I like them, you know? That's just my style. And, he, and I was just trying to explain it to him. And, he's, and then he came up with, like, oh, man, I used to own a fucking screen printing store. And I used to this and that. And, and I know about... Fashion, I mean, fuck, it's an opinion, man. Just like anything else, you know? It's a, That's just how I like it. Look at this. Fucking $150 Bruce Lee shirt. Yeah, guess what? Look at that. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Yeah. To me, that's my shirt, you know what I mean? That's my art. So, after that, I was like, I just, like I said, man. People are not gonna agree with with you or with me or whatever. Just let them let them put the comment there. And just don't don't you know what I mean? Just don't engage with it because 
if I believe the blue the sky is blue and you believe the sky is uh fucking I don't know rainbow okay who's gonna say who's right right because the person believes it's rainbow it's gonna be a rainbow let's say they're colorblind they say, yeah man it's fucking rainbow so I'm colorblind what can you say and I'm like oh it's blue nice okay you say it's rainbow I say it's blue okay let's go let's move on let's go skateboarding you know all right Right, man that's it it's in the video thanks for watching man remember without freedom no skateboarding okay always always have fun always keep rolling it's running water and go stale all right so keeping underground lit for you and me that's it all right enjoy all right <laughs>